Hey, welcome to Low Carb Reviewer. I'm David Terrell. And I'm Renee Terrell. And we're out of Los Angeles, California. And what we do on this station is we taste low carb products and then we test our glucose to see how much it spikes our sugar. Today, the product that we'll be looking at is... We're going to look at Slim Fast Keto. Um, we have two different flavors, but we're going to be testing the fudge brownie batter, but we also have the vanilla cake batter flavor. Um, and just really quick, I eat a keto lifestyle, so high fat, low carbs, and uh, moderate protein. And my husband eats kind of a moderate, a, yeah, a lower low carb, carb mm -hmm. diet, uh, but not as much fat as I do. Right. Okay, so we're going to give you a little bit of information about this product before we try it. Okay, first of all, uh, there's 10 servings per container. Mm -hmm. There's two scoops per serving, mm -hmm. and there's 190 calories in each serving. Okay. And that's also if only if you use it with water. Uh, the amount of fat is 15 grams. Uh, the total carbs is 9 grams carbs. Two of them are fiber, three are erythritol. So when you subtract that, you get four net carbs. And that's how those of us who eat a low-carb diet do it. We subtract the fiber and uh, sugar alcohols. So some of the ingredients involve the uh, MCT oil blend. We also have the palm coconut and grass-fed butter. Okay. The other ingredients are the protein blend, a cocoa, erythritol, natural flavors, silica, dextrose, stevia leaf extract, and monk fruit extract. And they have a few other smaller ingredients in there, but those are the, you know, some of the main ones that we're going to point out. Uh, also, this Keto Slim Fast Shake is gluten-free, is artificial sweetener-free, and artificial flavor color-free. So we'll know. Okay. okay. Be healthier for us. Yes. Directions on this say to shake it or blend it. Uh, you use your two scoops, uh, shake it or blend it, and they recommend water. I would normally drink this with a milk so I can have a, kind of a, a, a shake kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the purposes of this test, we're going to use water, so we're going to look at their ingredients and how they affect our glucose. It's funny because even it. though I'm not a big milk drinker, I know that with the shake it would be better with milk and water. Much better with milk and water. <laughs> and again, you can shake it or blend it. So I can picture this blended probably with ice, milk, mm -hmm. you might add some Greek yogurt to give it even more of a little right. smoothie kind of flavor. Yeah. But again, I will drink it with water and I hope, <laughs> hope I like it. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do my pre-glucose test. Uh, 84. Hopefully you can see them. I'll move it around. Yeah. Give you, I don't know how clear it is, but hopefully so. I think let's do Big Dave's. Do this here, press down, ow, there we go, woo, 96, nice. Okay, now that we've taken our pre-test, we will now be tasting the product and then we'll come back and test our sugar. Okay, okay so here uh, we have our eight ounces of cold water already ready to go and then we're going to add in our other eight ounces and we're going to add the two scoops. Add into here? Yep. There's one. And shake it up. There's two. Right. Shake is nice, ice and cold. Pour it all into the glass here. Oh, that's a nice oh, texture. Oh, it blended well. Oh, yeah. There we go. Much better than what I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> see? Mm -hmm. Don't know until you try it. Okay, now that we've prepared the drinks and we're going to get them down and... And they didn't take that much shaking to blend them together. I thought no. it would come out clumpy. Sometimes, you know, you can mix a protein powder and it comes out clumpy. But it looks good. Yeah. Let's take these down. Mm -hmm. hmm. Even with water, it's bare. I mean, it's cool. It's no problem. Yeah, I definitely like it. Mm -hmm. I do taste an aftertaste. I don't know what it is. But I do taste an aftertaste of probably one of the sugars. Maybe. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It is. As long as you're drinking, you won't taste that. Do you taste aftertaste? I don't. I do. It tastes like any other shake to me. Mm -hmm. And I think if I had a milk, I have an almond coconut milk bread. Yeah, that um, might not That has that. like less than one gram of carb. I probably wouldn't taste this at all. Mm -hmm. uh, would I drink this again? Yes. Yeah, there's no, and there's no, um, there's no, no after, extra residue. Um, mm -mm. No. 
So everything. So it definitely good. blends well. Yeah. And I didn't shake it long at all. Okay, that was good. The vanilla cake batter. I've added that to my low keto ice cream. So I'll make it with uh, heavy cream, vanilla extract, and erythritol sweetener. I take maybe half a scoop and add it into the, I do the baggy version and squeeze it and put it in the freezer. And this gives it a very good texture and an added flavor that I could not have imagined. <laughs> I just wondered one day, well, what would this taste like in there? And I added just a half a scoop. Oh, it knocked it out the park. It took it to another level. Yeah, just a little change. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've downed our drinks, yes. we're going to take about uh, 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and we'll come back and do another glucose test just to see what it did to our sugar. All right? Stay tuned, and we'll be back. All right. Okay, we're back at Low Carb Reviewer, and what we're going to do right now is give you the results of our glucose. Okay, we've already tasted the product, so now we're going to see what our results are. How about that? Yes. All right. And David is using the Keto Mojo yes. uh, glucose tester. Right. And I'm using its Contour Next by Active Forward. They both seem. We're never going to do a test with both of them on the same product to see how our glucose tester reads. There's a smile on her face there. And we're going to check. 86. 86. Okay, so I'm 86. And this really does blend well. That's one really good thing about it. I'm going to try it with milk and also include that in my review write up. Uh, and we have a 102. 102. So David went from 96 to 102. So it spiked my sugar. Yeah, just a little bit. And glucose went up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. You just seen our glucose test, so you saw how much our, split, our sugar was spiked. And Renee went from. 84 to 86 glucose and I went from 96 to 102 glucose okay so this is keto I mean it didn't spike our sugar it has our glucose it has mm -hmm. the fat uh, the taste is is decent uh, it blends well you can't take this on the go which is really good all yeah, you need is cold water Sorry, although I prefer a milk product mm -hmm. whether it's almond milk or coconut milk but it's something that I can have on the go I can leave this at work so if I don't have time exactly shake it up yeah drink it and I have a meal replacement and the cold water was cool for me I didn't think it would satisfy me but it really did so let you know you can get it down with no problem so look we want you to stay close to us because we have some exciting products coming up that we want to taste and test to let you know what it does to our glucose testing okay look don't forget to come back because we got more exciting products low carb products at yes. that okay so just to give you a heads up our next product will be Lily's chocolate Yes, it's the salted caramel. I love this candy bar. What does it do to my glucose? Oh. I want to know. So I'm going to test it. Right. So we thank all the low-carb product makers who make products that help us on our low-carb journey because it makes it a lot easier to have something on the go, ready yes. to eat when we need it. Exactly. Um, also, we have the link to these products in the description area. And also, please subscribe to our channel and check us out on Instagram at Low Carb Review. Reviewer. Eh, YouTube also. Yes. All right, so look, we're going to get on, but we welcome you to come back to Low Carb Reviewer. I'm David Terrell. And I'm Renee Terrell. And we'll see you next time. Yeah.